Sue McMahon and I'm co-creator of Women's Weekly magazine and I'm going to show you how to make some sugar blossom flowers which look really pretty when used on wedding cakes or even on cupcakes. Flowers are made from flower paste, which I buy and it's already made, it's all ready to use. And working with this paste, I find the best surface to use is a smooth plastic. And you can buy special boards that are green like this one, especially for doing sugar flowers, and a small plastic rolling pin. And I have some corn flour tied in a little bag, because although it's a non-stick board, Sometimes the paste does stick a little, so that just helps to stop it sticking. This paste dries out really, really quickly, so all the time I'm not using it, I keep it wrapped in a plastic bag. So I'm dusting a little corn flour on it. So as I'm rolling it, I keep lifting it to make sure that it hasn't stuck to the board. Now I'm going to cut the flowers out using this plunger blossom cutter. So I press it down well and then eject the flower from the cutter. And this is a pressure pad, it's like a thick foam. So I rest the flowers on that, and then I use a veining tool to mark a line down the centre of each petal, and then a line either side of that first one. So there's three lines going down each petal. So once you've done the veining on all the flowers, you need to put them in something curved to dry. So you can put them in something like an insert from a chocolate box or it also works quite well to use an empty box from quail's eggs. Just anything to give them that gentle curve. Then I pipe a ball of royal icing into the centre of each flower. Once I've done all the flowers, I then leave them to dry overnight so that both the flower paste flowers and the royal icing centres will go nice and hard before I paint the flowers. So if you want to, you can put these flowers onto wires and then tape them together to make a big flower head. For example, if you want to make a decoration to go on the top of the wedding cake. So what I've done is I've made the flowers and put the lines on them the same way, but I need to make a hole in the centre of each flower. So I press the scribing tool down through the centre and then put them to dry in the same way. So these I don't pipe the centre in them yet, I let them dry with the hole in the middle. So to put the flowers on wires, I'm using 28 gauge florist wire and I cut each length into four. And what I do is I hook over the end of the wire and then I bend that hook over. Then what I do is I take the flower, pull the wire through the middle and pull the hook down so it's sitting on the flower and then I pipe a ball of royal icing to cover the hook. And then I find it's better to leave these to dry so they're standing up, so just any small container to support them while they dry.